Did you know that 97% of workers would choose to work remotely at least part-time for the rest of their careers? Well, in the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna reveal the top 10 remote jobs that not only offer flexibility, but arm you with skills so versatile, you could pivot into almost any industry. And stay tuned because number seven might just surprise you. That's right, today we're gonna be diving deep into something that could revolutionize your career trajectory, the top 10 remote jobs with the most transferable skills. Now, why am I so excited about this video? Well, over the past decade, I've not only worked remotely in various roles, but I've also helped thousands of people find their perfect remote gig. And by the end of this video, you'll know which remote jobs offer the most versatile skills. But you'll also know what you can expect to earn and how to leverage those roles for long-term career success. So are you ready to supercharge your career potential? Well, let's go ahead and dive in. First up, we have virtual executive assistant. Now, don't scroll past this one. You've probably heard of virtual assistants before, but this is not the same thing. And it's a goldmine of transferable skills. So VAs handle a variety of tasks from managing schedules to coordinating projects and communications. And you get to work very closely with executives and high ranking employees, which means in many cases, you're also going to be fielding emails and messages from other executives and high ranking employees. And that means this position can not only be really good for networking, but also spending time around people that have risen very high in their careers. And of course, there's that old saying of you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time around. So if you're constantly spending time around executives and high ranking employees, chances are you're also going to become one. And just as an example, I knew one lady who was basically Steven Spielberg's executive assistant, and she ended up becoming one of the top producers in Hollywood. So this is very, very real. Now, am I saying you're absolutely going to become an executive yourself? Of course not. But it's going to give you an opportunity to see how it works and understand the inner workings of the business. And in this position, you make really good money, about forty six dollars to $71,000 a year. So some pros here is you get to develop a wide range of business skills. You get to work with high-level executives and learn from their experiences, and it has highly transferable skills that are applicable in almost any industry. Some cons are it can be high pressure with tight deadlines, it may require odd hours, and juggling multiple tasks and priorities can be challenging. And remember, as a VA, you're not just scheduling meetings, you're getting a paid education in business operations. Number two on our list is going to be a digital marketer. And in our increasingly online world, these skills are more in demand than ever. Now, digital marketers use digital channels to connect with customers, build brand awareness, and promote products or services services. And they make about 40 to $71,000 a year. And being able to market people using digital channels is probably one of the most valuable skills you can possibly learn in the modern day. And that means you can make pretty good money right off the bat, but then you can also easily make it to six figures within a few years. And you can even go into jobs that pay multiple six figures or even a million dollars a year. Or if you want to, you can start your own business and use your digital marketing skills to make it successful much faster than the average person would. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Take Chris, for instance. At 20, he was flipping burgers at Wendy's. But after taking this digital marketing course, he landed a digital marketing job in just two months. And Chris says the amount of support and compassion in Seth's digital marketing community was almost shocking. They're so helpful. And if you're interested in getting into digital marketing, just like Chris did, I actually have a free training from that exact person who helped them get into it. And that'll be down in the description and the pinned comment below. So the pros here is you always get to learn new technologies and platforms that colleges don't teach. You also get to blend creativity and analytics, and your skills are valuable in just about any industry in the world. The cons are it is a fast paced environment with constant changes. You do have a lot of pressure to deliver measurable results and it can be challenging to balance multiple campaigns and clients. Now a pro tip here is digital marketing skills are among the top 10 most in demand skills on LinkedIn. So learn this and you'll never be out of work. Number three on our list is going to be a customer service representative. And this role is a masterclass in soft skills that are valuable in any career. You see customer service representatives are the front line of a company handling customer inquiries, resolving issues, and ensuring customer satisfaction. And nobody knows a company better than their customer service representatives. And they make about thirty-six dollars to $50,000 a year. Now, that may not seem like a lot of money, but with that being said, you can move into many other positions down the line. And this is one of the easiest remote jobs you can possibly get. So the pros are you get to develop excellent communication and problem-solving skills, you learn to stay calm under pressure, and you gain insights into customer behavior and expectations. The cons are it can be emotionally draining, it may require working non-standard hours, and repetitive tasks can become monotonous. So pro tip here is companies love hiring managers with customer service experience. Why? Because you'll understand the customer like no one else. And there's a reason why at companies like Amazon, sometimes people will start off in customer service and work their way all the way up to becoming an executive. Moving on to number four, web developer. And in our increasingly digital world, these skills are more valuable than ever. Now, web developers design, create, and maintain websites. They work on both front end, what the users see, and the back end, which is the server side, which is basically what they 
don't see, and basically all aspects of web applications. Now, web developers can earn about $76,000 to $119,000 a year, and the pros are there is high demand across industries, you also get to blend creativity and technical skills, and you have an opportunity to create products used by millions. Now, the cons here are you constantly need to learn new technologies and programming languages as they come out. It can involve long hours, especially when approaching project deadlines, and it may require dealing with difficult clients or tight deadlines. Now, pro tip here is 68% of organizations increase their use of web-based technologies during the pandemic, and this trend is likely to continue, making web development skills increasingly valuable. Now, with that being said, it used to be that you could get a web development job by basically having a pulse. These days, you actually do need to know what you're doing. So you definitely want to work on your skills, build up your portfolio, and educate yourself online. Halfway through our list, we have data analyst. And in our data-driven world, these skills are like having a superpower. Now, data analysts collect, process, and perform statistical analyses of data, helping companies make informed decisions. And they earn between seventy dollars and $117,000 a year. Now, the pros here are there is high demand across industries. You can work in just about any industry. You develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills. And you have an opportunity to make a significant impact on business decisions. Some cons is it can be isolating if you're the only analyst in a company. There is a lot of pressure to provide accurate insights that drive major decisions. And you're going to have the constant need to update your skills as new tools and technologies emerge. However, data analysis is one of the fastest growing careers in the next 10 years. So yeah, this one is excellent. All right, so we're halfway through our list. How are you feeling about these remote jobs so far? Remember, if you're finding this valuable, let me know in the comments which job intrigues you the most. Also, if you thought I should have mentioned a different one, go ahead and let me know as well. Number six on our list is going to be project manager. And this role is like being a conductor of an orchestra, ensuring all parts work together harmoniously. So project managers plan, execute, and close projects, ensuring they're completed on time, within budget, and to the required specifications. And project managers get paid really good money to do this, about seventy-seven dollars to $130,000 a year. Now, this is typically not one of those jobs that you're going to be able to get into right off the bat if you don't have a college degree or any previous experience. You likely are going to have to have some previous experience or a college degree. But at the same time, it really doesn't matter too much what previous experience you have. This one is going to teach you incredibly valuable skills that will help you no matter what career path you go down or if you decide to become a freelancer or open your own business. And the pros here are you get to develop strong leadership and organizational skills. You get to work with diverse teams and stakeholders, and it's applicable across various industries. The cons are it is a high pressure role with responsibility for project success. It can involve long hours, especially near project deadlines, and it does require constant adaptation to new tools and methodologies. Now, pro tip here is 71% of organizations use what's known as agile project management. So master this methodology and you'll be in high demand. Now, here's number seven, and it might surprise you, graphic designer. These visual communication skills are incredibly transferable. Now, graphic designers create visual concepts using computer software or by hand to communicate ideas that inspire, inform, or captivate consumers. And graphic designers, generally speaking, make about forty-six to $75,000 a year. And I can tell you as someone who really pays attention to the job market that there are many niche skills within graphic design that pay incredibly well. For instance, a lot of people run ads and they need graphic designers to design the ads. And in many cases, they'll be running 50, 60, even 100 ads per month. So they usually have to hire someone full time. Now, the pros here are you have an opportunity to be creative every day. Your skills are valuable in marketing, product development, and more. And you can often set your own hours and work style. The cons are it can be isolating if working solo. There is a pressure to constantly stay creative and innovative. And you need to continually update your skills with new design software and trends. Now, by the way, if you know someone who's looking for a career change or wants to break into remote work, share this video with them. It could be the push they need to start that exciting new journey. Coming in at number eight, we've got online teacher or tutor. And this role not only allows you to share your knowledge, but it also develops a set of skills that are highly valued in many industries. Now, this is something that I did myself, and it's helped me tremendously when it comes to actually teaching people how to learn something. And that kind of helped out a little bit when it came to starting, you know, the whole YouTube channel thing. Now, online teachers and tutors provide instruction in various subjects via digital platforms, often working with students one on one or in small groups. And an online teacher earns anywhere from 43 to $64,000 a year. So the pros are you develop excellent communication and explanation skills. A lot of the time it'll offer a flexible schedule and you have the opportunity to impact lives directly. The cons are it can be emotionally draining, income may be inconsistent, and it may require working odd hours. But did you know that the e-learning market is expected to reach $325 billion by 2025? Yeah, a lot of opportunity there, especially when it comes to teaching or tutoring online. Next on our list is content writer. And in today's digital age, content is king and the skills you'll gain as a content writer are pure gold. Now, content writers create various types of written material from blog posts and articles to social media content and email newsletters. And content writers make around 
42 to $71,000 per year. Now here's someone asking for advice on how to become a content writer because as an intern, they're struggling to make any real money off of it. And the response advises them to start with the niche they interned in. The response also advises them to reach out to people through LinkedIn, which I think is really good advice. Now the pros here are you get to develop strong research and communication skills, you get to learn about various industries and topics, and you have the flexibility to work in different niches. The cons are it can be solitary work, you may face writer's block or creative burnout, and there is a constant need to adapt to changing content trends and SEO practices. Now, by the way, speaking of content, if you've ever thought about starting a YouTube career, I actually have a completely free guide called From Beginner to Six Figure Creator, Crack the YouTube Code Fast. And that's what, exactly what it does. I reveal the most important things when it comes to starting and growing a YouTube channel. And you can check that out by clicking the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. And finally, number 10, software developer. In our tech-driven world, these skills are like having a superpower. Software developers create applications or systems that run on computers and other devices. And they make about 82 to $142,000 a year. Now this is the slightly more complicated version of web development. It does pay higher, but it's also a little bit harder to learn. Now the pros here are there is high demand across industries. You have an opportunity to create products used by millions and there's constant learning and problem solving. The cons, it can also be isolating if working solo and there is pressure to keep up with rapidly evolving technologies. Now, by the way, if you enjoyed this one, you might also enjoy my video that I made on remote jobs that are incredibly flexible. You can check that out by clicking right here.